All right, guys, we're back with a new video, and this one is a subwoofer shootout. All right, now we have three different subwoofers on the block. You brought one. Which one did you bring? I brought the Dayton HO15, two of them. <laughs> but we're only testing we're one. We're only testing one. We're only testing one. And we also have the Dayton Audio Maximum Excursion 15-inch. This is their new one that you guys are so excited about. And we finally have the smallest subwoofer that we're going to be testing, which is the CSS SDX12. It's also, interestingly enough, the most expensive. Of the three. Of the three, yeah. Now, all these subwoofers are tuned for movies, so we tune these for 20 hertz. We want to get that bass response that you don't typically get with other subwoofers. Now, because they're tuned so low, we're going to be testing this on some different movies. Now, what movie do you think we should test these on? I'm going to say Tron. Yes, Tron, like the light light uh, cycle scene. Yes. I think that'd be a good one. Yeah, what else? Uh, what else? Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Well, the Battle of Normandy. We have to do the Battle of Normandy. Um, and I think, you know, because we're doing the low frequencies, we have to do Live, Die, Repeat. Yes, for sure. You know, I mean, that one blows subwoofers up. So if one of our subwoofers blows up, we know, well. How about that Underwater? Yeah, that was, oh, Underwater. The opening scene of Underwater, if you haven't seen it, like where the place blows up, I think that would be really good. And I, I also think the beginning of Nine that pushes your subwoofers, we should try that one out too. So we're gonna do a bunch of different ones. And as we're listening to them, we're gonna give you an idea of what we think of each one. I think we should start off with the HO. Sounds good. <laughs> Does it sound good? Yes. We haven't even heard it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's I've never heard those notes before. I, not with my not with my 9080X. Not with your death tech. No. I know. I'm telling you, it's crazy. And I think most people have never heard that before. No. Because they don't they don't have a sub tune. <clears> they don't go on low enough. No. And that HO. I mean, if you have an HO already, you probably aren't tuned that low either. Because no, they don't box that big. Unless you're a big box. <laughs> now, I mean, it is important to note that the HO typically would be tuned to about 30 hertz, but we did it extended a uh, bass response so we're tuning it down to 20 hertz to get that lower than what most people would typically run their ho uh, and because of that we're limited with the amount of power we can give it closer to 400 watts right now it's important to note that we have these paired with the inspired by klipsch thx style speakers and these get very loud and very clean and very it's hard clean. to keep subwoofer you think they're clean yes too. and it's hard to keep subwoofers up with them and I think yours is doing a, uh, it's doing yeah. a great job keeping they're, it no, they're Neither of them are walking over each other at all. No, it's a good blend. Now it's time to get some testing done on the Dayton Audio MX-15. Hair's going to stand on the end. <laughs> this is crazy. The TV is shaking. It is! It is! <laughs> I felt the air movement from that one. I did too. It, I mean, a crazy thing, like, all right, same size subwoofer, but a lot more output. Right. Almost the same size box too. Yeah, it is. you're right. Yeah, I think they are exactly the same size box actually, because when we changed your dimensions, it ended up both being 5.3 yep. cubic feet. Same size, well, that thing is cra That's... crazy. Now we have that hooked up to one side of the crown and we're giving it full power. We did limit it a little because, not, not because the subwoofer was, because the amplifier was clipping. You're right. I think it can take more power. I'd be afraid. Oh, I would be afraid for the house. I yeah, wouldn't be afraid for the sub. Yeah, my ears. Afraid. Yeah, well, your ears, yeah. <laughs> I, that, I mean, that, that thing is impressive. Yes, it is. That is impressive. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I mean, I like it. The, the only thing that I would be concerned of with the MX-15 is if you don't have, like, pretty efficient or clear speakers, I think it could overpower. It could definitely overpower something. Yeah, I, I love the fact that with like the Crown, we have this like basically fourth order cutoff right at 120, right. so it doesn't, it's not like none of the voices are getting through to it. It's just pure bass. Just bass. And it's exploding. All right, so now we got the SDX-12. This is CSS, this is the most expensive one. This is the dual passive radiator one. Um, 
So let's go ahead and check this out. Now this, the interesting thing is, not only is this the most expensive one, but it also is the one that uses the most power. Right. Uh, this has the highest power handling, and because of that, we actually bridge this amplifier to run the SDX-12. I'd say for a 12 inch, that's really good. That impressive. is really good. I've never heard a 12 inch sound like that. No, it's super clean. And it's, it's got, the thing it's got going for is its size. Mm -hmm. I, mean, it's cr I mean, it's... It's not that big. Well, compared to those, it's like you could fit like 10 of them. That is in your face. Yeah, it's not, it's not as in your face, but it, it, it kind of blends in. It doesn't really, like, it doesn't sound like a subwoofer. It just sounds like there's, I mean, it feels like, you feel the bass, but you don't really hear it. Right. All right, so we listened to all three. Um, we have thoughts and opinions. So I'll, I'll get some of my basic thoughts first. Obviously, if you're, if you're after size, the SDX-12 is the way to go. Yeah. If you want the smallest size footprint, go with that one. The other two are about, they're, they're the same exact cubic feet. We, we built them differently, but they're the same cubic feet. So, thoughts? If you want something that's going to just completely blow you away. Yeah. I would say, I would say for, for me, the most impressive as far as like just so much fun, like let's just have fun with it, MX-15. Yes. MX and then I'd go with the HO, then I'd go with the SDX-12. Feeling the same. The HO is not, not as powerful, but it is really clean. And it is. You put two of them together, and it's really gonna fill a room. Yeah, and I and I and the cool thing with the HO, the way that we built it, is it doesn't have to take a lot of power. Right. You know, 400 watts or so. You could really get away with 200 watts if you wanted to. Um, with the right amp. With the right amp, yeah. <laughs> And and you'd be fine. And we now we ran two of these on just one side of that crown mm -hmm. amp, and it was phenomenal. Yes, it was. Um, all right, best sound quality. Which one do you think gets the best sound quality? Blending. I'm gonna say the twelve. Yeah, I would say SD actual too. To me, best sound like if you're like audiophile and you say, man, I just want the best sound quality, SD actual. Granted, it is significantly more expensive. Yes. But. That's what you get for the more money, you know? What comes in second, do you think? It's, it's hard. They're pretty similar in clarity, I think. I think the yeah. HO is a little cleaner because it doesn't have as much output. It's not as overpowering to me. Yeah. But as fun factor, that thing's just a beast. I, yeah, I would say, I, I would say it's a, a toss-up. I, I don't know that I would say either one is necessarily... I, I'd say they're pretty... Pretty both. much the same. Yeah, they're yeah. both really clean. But I would say sound quality definitely. I, either way, the SDX-12 wins in sound quality. Yes. Overall. All right. Uh, best value. Which one's the best value? Ours were pretty similar in cost, I think. <clears throat> so your subwoofer is going to be a little bit more expensive. However, because of the way we tuned it, your amplifier power will be significantly less. Where mine, the subwoofer is more expensive, but the amplifier is going to be more if you want maximum output. Maximum output of it, yeah. However, I'm still going to say for me the best value is the MX-15. Um, only because I think that even if we were running equal power, I think I'd still rather have the MX-15. And it's, it's, not, it's not a lot cheaper, but it's cheaper still. Right. So I'd say more capability with it too. Yeah, and the next best value HO, and then SDX twelve, least, but not because of any other reason, but it's the most expensive sub and it takes the most amount of power. Right. So you have to have a lot of amp to run that thing. Yeah, I mean, I think you buy the SDX twelve because you want the cleanest subwoofer you can buy. Right. You know, you're like, all right, this is the cleanest one. I'm buying that. I think you buy the MX because you're just like. Holy crap! I want to, I want bass. Lots and lots of bass. And lots and lots of bass. And you buy the HO. Why do you buy the HO? Uh, just the blend of it. I mean, it's it's a good price point. It doesn't yeah. take a ton to run it if you tune it right. It's a real. I like the aluminum cone too. I love too. the aluminum cone. It's it's safer around kids. Yeah. All right. Overall, money's no object. You have all the amplifier power you need. Which one do you buy? MX. Yeah, MX. Yeah. For me too. For theater at least. Definitely theater. Yeah. If I'm going 
pure sound quality for um, for music, I'm going with the with the SCX12. Right, that's it. That's it. So for me, my favorite after all this is all said and done, the MX15, followed by the HO, followed by the STX12. Only because you just can't beat the output of the 15s. The STX12 is awesome. It's awesome. But those 15s still are no no replacement for displacement. No. No replacement. At all. No. All right, so now what do we do now? Play. I think that's a good idea. Let's watch a movie. I think that's uh but I don't think we should just hook up the MX15. Let's hook up the MX15 and both your HOs. Are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm I all am. for it. Let's do it. All right, guys. This is Toys DIY Audio with Robbie. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you ring that bell so you get instant notification. This is Toys DIY Audio. We're out to watch a movie with three 15 inch subwoofers going on. We might be deaf by the time we're done with this. Might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> now here's a special for all you guys that hung around. We did go ahead and hook up the MX-15 to one side of the Crown amplifier when we got finished, but we weren't finished just yet. We decided to hook up both of his HO-15s to the other side and we started watching some movies of course we decided to see how loud it would go and i will tell you this much that the pressure that it was creating inside the room was unbearable for me i actually had to leave because it was creating too much pressure granted we had it turned up entirely too loud we were giving them all full power when really we didn't need to now having said that it's just unbelievable to be able to get a room like that pressurized. It just is a really cool feeling. And I think we could have pressurized it with uh, quite a few decibels less. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out.